Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Chicago Conservative. If you are a new viewer, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, then thank you guys for coming back, guys. I really appreciate it, guys. Now we gotta get down to business because this is another tragic story that happened in Chicago, Illinois, where nobody's doing their job and where innocents are getting killed yet again, guys. And this story is just absolutely bonkers. This is just crazy, man. So, <sighs> earlier last week, an eight-year-old girl was actually murdered in Chicago. She was shot in the head. Also, a one-year-old boy was shot and another eight-year-old was shot as well, leading to 10 people being shot in total, guys. I think this happened on 52nd and Damon. And, you know, they were at a family gathering and they shot at the family gathering like a punk. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would these people shoot at a family that's just having a good time i believe there there uh the report said that there were two shooters i believe and you guessed it guys it was gang related like oh black people just sickens me man like stuff like this is disgusting because first of all half of you people don't even know how to use a goddamn gun and you're just killing people in the process second of all you're killing somebody over a hood that's not even yours. Like, have you guys never heard of the, like, you know what I'm saying? The, what's that song called with Jay-Z that still N-word? Like, please don't die over the neighborhood that your mama rent, bro. Like, y'all don't, y'all don't even have mortgages and y'all over here killing people over hoods that y'all don't even own. Killing babies, bro. Killing innocent civilians, getting old people shot. Like, what is wrong with you people? You people are sick. And I, can, I just can't believe that black people are like still don't get it yet. We don't even make 12% of the population in America, guys. And we're killing each other like dogs in all of the inner cities that the Democrats are in charge of, guys. But let me just stop going on rents. And let me just show you guys this horrific, tragic story that happened in Chicago over the past week, guys. Take a look at this. A child was killed, 10 others injured after gunfire erupted in the back of the yards. Judy's live at Comer Children's with the latest for us. Good morning, Judy. Good morning. An eight-year-old girl died and she was shot in the head. Boys ages one and eight are undergoing treatment here at Comer Children's Hospital for multiple gunshot wounds. And we have another child who suffered a graze wound. After interviewing witnesses, Chicago police say they may be looking for two shooters. We have a total of 11 people shot again, all at the same location. This happened at about 920 last night. Police say shot spotter picked up 18 rounds fired near 52nd and Damon in back of the yards. The victims were attending a family gathering. Some witnesses told police two gunmen walked up and sprayed bullets into the crowd. This morning, CPD reports that the shots may have uh, come from a black sedan which left going south on Damon. The first officers to arrive at the scene applied tourniquets and chest seal bandages on victims. The adults shot men and women were taken to the University of Chicago, Christ and Mount Sinai hospitals. Two of those adults are in critical condition. Police say this was not a random act. The offenders actions make no mistake are horrific and unacceptable in our city. Anybody with any information can contact area detectives or their local police district. All I can say at this point is I'm going to pray, you pray, and God help us. Police have not revealed a possible motive for the shooting, but they say that they do believe that this was gang related. Outside Comer Children's Hospital on the south side, Judy Wang, WGN News. Look. I don't even think nobody ever heard this question on YouTube, so I'm just going to ask it because people just be scared to ask the real questions nowadays. Um, Do black people get stupid when it gets hot outside? Like, why the hell do you guys always have to act dumb and stupid when it gets hot outside? Is it the heat? Like, what's going on? Like, do you really have... You really thought that this was a good idea. It's not even summertime yet, guys, and these people are acting like animals and you guys wonder why people call us animals because that's how we're acting that's how we're acting in chicago illinois we're killing each other like animals like we don't have any humanity over here 
Like, we just don't respect human life at all. Like, this is a video game. Like, this is GTA. Like, you can respawn. You cannot do that. Why would you shoot at a family that were, that kids were just standing by and you willingly did it, you pig? You are a disgusting piece of shit. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta, I gotta, y'all gotta bear with me with a few curse words at this point. But you're just a disgusting piece of trash. You willingly shot at that family, knowing it was kids in that crowd. You're disgusting. I hope you, when they catch you, you guys already know what I'm finna say. When you get locked up, I hope they beat the dog shit out of you, and I hope you get a visit from the Booty Warrior, bro. Seriously, because when kids get hurt in the process, bro, I don't like that, man. I hate when kids get hurt because they're innocent, man. Especially, Why is a one-year-old kid getting shot? Why is a one-year-old kid getting shot? Does that make any sense? And then you people always want to protest for Black Lives Matter, right? Black Lives Matter, right? But you, y'all just been a protest for a fucking dude that just shot at the police. He just shot at the police. But y'all won't, y'all won't protest for that baby out there though. Y'all won't protest for that eight year old girl that just got shot in the head. Y'all won't protest for that one year old boy that got shot. The other eight year old boy that just got shot. Eleven people got shot, bro. One block. Y'all ain't gonna protest for that though, cause you people are fucking hypocrites. You people make me sick. You do this every week, every day. You people are killing innocent people every single day. And you people want to sit up here talking about Black Lives Matter, Derek Reed, um, George Floyd, all this fucking retarded bullshit, man. Kids are getting killed. And I can't, and you, I don't know if you guys caught that, but you heard how the people said, oh, the shot spotters detected, so Brandon Johnson. Is it really a good idea to get rid of shot spotters when babies are getting killed out here? If you guys don't share this video, just unsubscribe, bro, at this point, bro, because this shit is getting ridiculous. I got to make an IRL video next week, bro. This, this, this shit is getting out of hand, bro. T 11 people. 11 people, bro. People ain't even getting a shot like that over the weekend in Iraq, bro. And, like, what is going on? What is going on? You people make me sick. You And then you people always want to act, bro. <sighs> you people always want to act like it's the white man. It's not the white man, bro. It's us. But you guys want to always complain when a white man shoot a black person because he's acting like a goddamn fool. Right? Let's just roll some clips to just see how blind we are. The hypocrisy that's just in our, that's just right in our face. Oh, black lives matter, right? But look what we doing. Take a look. Copy that. Uh, here we go. All right, this is getting serious. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Holy Christmas. Oh boy, oh boy. We've got two, two CHP cruisers. What is going on, guys? We are so tired of this. Raw anger over Dexter Reed's deadly traffic stop dissolved a peaceful protest into confrontational chaos. Dozens of demonstrators stepped off the sidewalk, rushing the intersection of West Harrison and Kedzie, stunting traffic. Police intervention triggered the crowd. Many of these officers work at the very same station as the four who shot and killed Dexter Reed. And I would not let them rest without suffering for what they did for my older brother. Now, I'm finna say some real shit here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm cursing a lot in this video. But you guys, I, I, I honestly think I gotta go off script for a second, guys. Not even gonna lie. I tell people all the time. The biggest form of love is sacrifice, guys. Now, I'm going to ask you guys one question, okay? What is the biggest form of hate? What is the biggest form of hate? It is the intent to kill someone. You can hate someone so much, you would want to kill them, right? What is, what is bigger than wanting to kill somebody in a form of hate? What else could you do to them? 
You feel what I'm saying? And you have to understand love and hate is on the same side of the same. I mean, I'm sorry. It's basically on the same coin, guys. It's just different sides of the same coin. If I love someone so much, see, people always want to say, oh, love is one, one, hugs and kisses. No. Love is, I will die for you, bro. Like my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, died for me, man. That's the biggest form of love here, guys. The biggest form of love is sacrifice. But the biggest form of hate is the intent to kill. And black people kill each other all day, every day. So do we really love each other? Do we really love each other or do we hate each other? Who are the real, who are the real, like, you know what I'm saying? Black haters here. We are. Because we're killing each other like dogs. It's not white people. They're sitting back, drinking their lattes, saying, oh, shit, that's crazy. That's what they're doing. Like, I'm I'm just, I don't know what's going on, guys. That's, that's doing too much. 11 people, like, I don't even know how many kids got shot. That's doing the, that's, that's crazy, man. Knocked my light out again, guys. Um, you know what? Make sure you guys... Like and subscribe. Make sure you share this video, man. Tune in next time. I'm out, man. Peace.